Actress Elizabeth Allen stood out from others in her time due to her great flexibility and engaging performances. She was unique because she could easily move between different types of movies like dramas and comedies. While everyone's personal memories of her might differ, many people remember her fondly for the depth she added to her roles and the lasting impression she made on movies. We encourage you to share your own memories or personal stories about this classic actor in the comments below. Stay with us as we explore many humorous, surprising, and sad facts about her career. Continue watching this video for more details. Born in Skegness, England, Elizabeth Allen, an actress, developed her passion for acting within an art-loving family. Influenced by various theatrical productions during her youth, she cultivated a deep love for the stage. Early in her career, Allen's talent drew the attention of industry influencers, leading to her stage debut in London. Her performances earned praise, propelling her into significant roles in both theater and film. A turning point in her career came when she attracted the interest of U.S. film producers, providing her with a broader platform for showcasing her skills. Allen's versatility and dedication allowed her to flourish in Hollywood's competitive landscape. Her performances were shaped by early experiences and the influences of her upbringing with family support and exposure to the arts molding her into a talented actress. These formative experiences laid the groundwork for Allen's successful career in both theater and film. Throughout her journey, the actress's dedication to her craft and her family's encouragement played pivotal roles in shaping her trajectory. Elizabeth Allen's story is a testament to the impact of early experiences on one's path to success in the entertainment industry. Elizabeth Allen, a notable actress, faced a pivotal moment in 1967 when she had to step away from her career for a decade. This hiatus was prompted by her commitment to caring for her ailing husband during a challenging period of his illness. Her journey into the world of acting began with training at the Old Vic. Subsequently, she toured in Gentleman, The King, and marked her West End debut in Michael and Mary in 1930. These early experiences laid the foundation for her career in the entertainment industry. In 1932, she married Wilfred J. O'Brien, who later played a crucial role in her professional life. O'Brien became deeply involved in her career, eventually holding senior positions with Alexander Corda and Michael Bacon. His support was a driving force behind her success, showcasing the significance of their partnership. Tragically, O'Brien passed away in 1977, leaving a void in her life both personally and professionally. His influence on her career, however, remained evident even after his demise. Elizabeth Allen's story is one of dedication, both to her craft and to her loved ones. The interplay of personal and professional aspects shaped her journey, making her a resilient figure in the world of acting. The youngest of six children, Elizabeth Allen was born to Dr. Alexander William and Amelia Allen, who fostered an environment full of creativity and ambition. From her early years, she showed a natural inclination for leadership, especially during her time as head girl at Palom Hall School. It was there she first found her love for the stage, shining in Shakespeare's As You Like It. Her journey into acting took a significant step with a memorable debut in Taming of the Shrew at the Lyric Hammersmith. In the midst of the spotlight and applause, she discovered her passion, quickly becoming known as a talented actor in the theater world. With each performance, she brought her characters to life, captivating audiences and critics alike. Her rise to fame wasn't just because of her talent, but also her dedication and pursuit of excellence. Whether on stage or screen, her presence was magnetic, leaving a lasting impression on all who watched. As her career flourished, Elizabeth Allen became synonymous with brilliance in entertainment. With every role she took on, she elevated the art, adding depth and authenticity. Her legacy continues to inspire aspiring performers today. In the history of theater, her name shines as a symbol of talent and resilience, showing the power of passion and perseverance. Her journey is a story of triumph over challenges. Elizabeth Allen, who briefly worked as a kindergarten teacher before becoming an actress, is well remembered for her TV show, Swap Shop. It aired for two years on Southern television and was loved for its warmth and charm. Before her TV career, she practiced speaking at Palom Hall School in Darlington, winning the Elocution Cup in 1927. Her journey from teaching to TV shows her talent and creativity in different fields. Elizabeth Allen's story proves that with determination and passion, anyone can succeed, no matter their background. This narrative about her career shows how she made a big difference in both education and entertainment. 
Elizabeth Allen was born in Skegness, Lincolnshire. Her family later moved to Darlington, South Durham, where she attended Palm Hall School. Under the guidance of Mrs. Guthrie Lydiard, she honed her skills and won a gold medal in elocution. At Palm School, she further excelled, securing a silver trophy for her elocution prowess. Her journey continued as she enrolled in the Guild Hall School of Music and Drama, earning honors and a gold medal for her dedication and talent. Elizabeth's early achievements laid a solid foundation for her future endeavors in the world of acting. Elizabeth Allen, known for her work in British and American cinema, started acting at the Old Vic Theatre. She began in British films in the early 1930s, impressing audiences and industry insiders. Hollywood noticed her talent, and she debuted in American cinema with Chinese Puzzle at MGM in 1932. Moving from British theater to Hollywood was a big change, but Allen handled it well. Her training at the Old Vic helped her succeed in both British and American movies. She showed her skills in every role she took on, leaving a lasting impact on the silver screen. Looking back, Allen's journey from the Old Vic to Hollywood shows her talent and determination. She's remembered as an excellent actress, inspiring others in the film world. Elizabeth Allen's time at MGM came to an unexpected halt in 1938 due to a legal dispute with the studio. The catalyst was MGM's decision to replace her with Greer Garson in the film Goodbye, Mr. Chips. She took a bold step by initiating legal action against the studio, claiming breach of contract. Despite facing formidable opposition, she emerged victorious in the courtroom. However, this victory was short-lived as MGM retaliated with a countersuit, leading to her eventual blacklisting within the industry. Following these tumultuous events, Allen's career took a divergent path. Transitioning from the silver screen to the burgeoning world of television, she found a new niche on panel games such as What's My Line. This shift not only showcased her adaptability, but also reinforced her resilience in the face of adversity. As the years unfolded, Allen retreated from the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, opting for a quieter existence. Eventually, she spent her final days in the serene surroundings of the Victoria nursing home in Hove, Sussex, where she peacefully passed away. Her legacy, though marred by the trials of her later years, endures as a testament to her talent and tenacity in an industry known for its fickleness and challenges. Her story serves as a poignant reminder of the complexities and realities of life in the entertainment world. Elizabeth Allen played Lucy Manette in a movie called A Tale of Two Cities and also appeared in another movie, David Copperfield, in the same year. Both films starred Bezel Rathbone, Edna May Oliver, and her and they were both nominated for Best Picture Academy Awards. When her husband got sick in the late 1950s, she decided to take a break from acting. Her great performance in a movie called Service for Ladies got a lot of attention in America and got her a contract with MGM. People really liked how versatile and charming she was, so she became very popular in Hollywood. She took a break to focus on her family and herself. Even though she faced challenges, she still loved acting and came back to it, leaving a big impact on the history of movies.